Well, it's official. Sometime in the near future, you will be able to legally place a bet on the Ravens or the Orioles right here in Maryland. Governor Hogan has signed more than 200 bills into law, and one of those includes sports betting. Abajoy Burnett has more. House Bill 940. Gaming. And just like that, sports betting will be legal in Maryland at six casinos, MT Bank Stadium, Camden Yards, and FedEx Field starting June 1st. You could also wager online. I am particularly proud that we will sign legislation that opens up opportunities in the industry of sports betting to minorities and women. More than two thirds of Marylanders voted for sports betting back in November. Then lawmakers followed up this fast session and overwhelmingly supported the move as well. Maryland is following its neighbors. Sports betting is already legal in Delaware, West Virginia, and Virginia. The industry is expected to rake in up to $19 million a year for education. Wagers in college sports, professional teams, fantasy leagues, and even international sporting events like the Olympics will be allowed. In this historic session, COVID-19 was also top of mind. It is funny to be here without masks on. Uh, we can feel the aftertimes of this pandemic. Lawmakers also had bipartisan support to repeal the state song, an effort some had been pushing for since 1974. We're also repealing the state song, which is a relic of the Confederacy that is clearly outdated and out of touch. The governor also signed the Jordan McNair Safe and Fair Play Act, which is all about health and safety measures for student athletes. McNair, a college park football player, died of heat stroke following practice in 2018. Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.